This video is on Form 29C which is a report of a chartered accountant on computing alternate minimum tax for person other than company. Form 29C is a report under Section 115 JC from a chartered accountant certifying that the adjusted total income and the alternate minimum tax have been computed in accordance with the provisions of Chapter 12BA. The report is required to be furnished on or before the due date of filing the return under Section 139 subsection 1. Let us look at the prerequisites for filing Form 29C. The taxpayer and the chartered accountant should be registered on the e-filing portal and should have a valid user ID and password. The taxpayer should assign Form 29C to a chartered accountant and chartered accountant should have valid digital signature certificate. The form can be used by a chartered accountant who is registered on the e-filing portal and one who has been assigned the form by a taxpayer. The process of filling Form 29C is the form is required to be assigned by the taxpayer to a chartered accountant, it is required to be filled and uploaded by the assigned chartered accountant and the same is required to be accepted and e-verified by the taxpayer for it to be submitted successfully. Let us look at the form at a glance. The form is a report with an annexure showing computation of adjusted total income and alternate minimum tax. It has annexure A and the verification section. Annexure A contains details relating to computation of adjusted total income and alternate minimum tax for the purposes of Section 115 JC of the Income Tax Act. The verification section contains a declaration by the chartered accountant for the correctness of the computation. The form can be filed and submitted through online mode and through offline utility. Let us look at the steps to file and submit Form 29C through online mode. The first step is assigning the Form 29C by a taxpayer. In order to assign the form, the taxpayer is required to log into the e-filing portal using user ID and password. On the taxpayer's dashboard, click on e-file, go to income tax forms and file income tax forms. Select Form 29C from the form tiles available. On reaching Form 29C, provide the assessment year and assign chartered accountant using my CA service. The taxpayer is required to attach the supporting documents and then click on continue button. If the chartered accountant is assigned by you already, details of form 29C pending with chartered accountant for filing or acceptance will be displayed. If chartered accountant is not assigned, you can assign a chartered accountant by choosing from the existing list of previously assigned chartered accountants from the drop down menu. In case there is no CA added, you can add a CA by clicking authorize partner on dashboard. Click on Authorize Partners, go to My CA and then add a new CA. After clicking the Continue button, you can submit the form to the Chartered Accountant. The taxpayer is now required to keep a note of the transaction ID for future reference. The second step is filing the form by the Chartered Accountant. In order to file the form, the Chartered Accountant is required to log in using the valid CA credentials. On the Chartered Accountant's dashboard, click on Pending Actions, go to Work List and click on Accept or Reject the Request. If the Chartered Accountant chooses to reject the request, it can provide the related reason. On rejection, email and SMS communication is sent to the taxpayer in the email ID and mobile number registered on the e-filing portal, providing the details of reasons for rejection. When the form is accepted, a success message is displayed. The Chartered Accountant can then click on Back to Work List. In the Chartered Accountant's Work List, select File Form and then click on the Let's Get Started on the Instructions page. The Chartered Accountant is required to fill all the required fields for the sections in Exure A and Verification and then click on Preview. The Chartered Accountant can also add unique identification number if applicable and then click on Proceed. Once the Chartered Accountant clicks on Proceed button, it will be taken to the e-verify page where you can verify using digital signature certificate. Presently, you will note that the UDIN box is greyed out as the feature will be enabled shortly. However, the Chartered Accountant may still go ahead and file the form by selecting I do not have UDIN, I will update later. Once the UDIN feature is made available for all the forms, you can update the same on the portal. Dates for updating UDIN for forms filed after 1st April 2021 is extended till 30th of April 2022. The Chartered Accountant can click on Proceed to e-verify and then click Yes to confirm. 
On clicking yes, the chartered accountant will be taken to the e-verify page where you can verify the form using digital signature certificate. After successful e-verification, a success message is displayed along with transaction ID. On successful submission, a confirmation message is sent to the email ID and mobile number of the taxpayer registered with the e-filing portal for the taxpayer's acceptance or rejection. The third step is acceptance of the file form 29C by taxpayer. Now again, the taxpayer is required to log into the e-filing portal using user ID and password. On the taxpayer's dashboard, now the taxpayer is required to click on pending action and go to work list. In the work list, the taxpayer can click on accept to accept form uploaded by the chartered accountant or select reject and provide rejection comments to reject the form. If the taxpayer chooses to reject, then the taxpayer is required to provide the related reason. On rejection, email and SMS communication is sent to chartered accountant on the email ID and mobile number registered on the e-filing portal. On selecting accept, the taxpayer will be taken to the e-verify page. The taxpayer can e-verify and after successful e-verification, a success message is displayed along with the acknowledgement receipt number. An email confirming successful submission of your form is sent to the email ID and mobile number of the taxpayer and the chartered accountant registered with the e-filing portal. Filing of Form 29C is very easy, but in order for a seamless filing, you have to avoid errors in form filing and verification. So therefore, kindly ensure to use the latest version of the utility for generating JSON. Ensure that the PAN of the taxpayer assessment year, CA membership number, form filing type are correctly entered in the utility and selected on the portal. Install the latest EMSigner Embridge application in your system. Log in the DSC token. Profile and contact details should be updated in taxpayer and CA login. Check local host eMudra is not blacklisted by the system admin and DSC token drive is updated. To know more, you can always visit us on www.incometax.gov.in or contact our helpline numbers.